Hi. How am I doing, you may ask? Thank you for asking if you did. If you didn't, thank you for listening to this answer. I have not been feeling like myself. I've been feeling such an intense lack of motivation, really headachy, quite nauseous. Things to be expected with pregnancy, but it's hard. Just adding to the growing pile of dishes and recycling to clean. <laughs> And I don't struggle with motivation when it comes to work. Anything that has to do with just sitting still, being at a computer or my phone, I can just not think about my head hurting. Or if I'm feeling nauseous at that moment, I can not think about that as well. It's the second that I have to stand up or attend to anything else that I'm just like, uh... I mentioned it briefly during the live stream, the most recent live stream, there is a part of me that is scared to hope about this pregnancy because my first pregnancy was a miscarriage. And once you've experienced that loss, it's like, you know, anything can be taken from you. It's like falling in love. There's this amount of trust that goes to it. Like there's this, there's this part of yourself that you have to, I don't know, have to is a strong word, but you choose to cut those last strings of resistance of fear and just say, I'm going to trust this person completely. I'm going to let them in to my whole life for the rest of my life. There's this, yeah, this open door, this acceptance. And I guess I'm just having a really hard time with knowing how to do that for this. Like, I've not had a period for three months. I've been feeling just as miserable as well, most people are supposed to feel <laughs> when they're in their first trimester. But like, there's just this part of me that's just scared to trust and just accept and let go. I guess something that you can take away from this video is that pregnant people aren't okay. And I'm sure that there's people who have been secondhand traumatized by hearing miscarriage and stillbirth and different kinds of losses from other people that they loved. And so it's not just people who have experienced loss that can be feeling super afraid and super unsure. Like if they allow their brain to go to the place of what ifs and how is it gonna be, they'll like go crazy and just be a sobbing mess. If anyone watching this is expecting, you're not alone and just like, the way that you're feeling is not wrong. I think a lot of us I think a lot of us have been gaslit and just taught that our emotions are sins or our reactions are wrong and it's just like fear and anxiety are not personal choices of, of bad attitudes. They're just a reality that a lot of us have to live with and figure out a way to deal with. Sometimes through medication, sometimes not, but we, we got to love ourselves, have patience with ourselves as we lack motivation. And, and if you're anything like me, <laughs> the same love that you want to extend to everybody else, extend to yourself. It doesn't help to, it's not right. <laughs> It's not good to just be like, oh, it's for every, everybody else deserves extra extra patience and love and kindness, but I should I should be able to do better. I shouldn't have I shouldn't be dealing with this. But I feel like it was kind of a a good step.
but I managed to actually get some clothes for my growing belly. So I haven't like looked looked like really looked for baby clothes at secondhand shops because there's still a part of me that's like it's not safe. But my sh I was having a bit of a problem with my shirts. <laughs> I'm just realizing that I spent so much I've spent so much time making that joke of I hope it's just one that I didn't really acknowledge within myself that I'm kind of terrified. <laughs> 